I feel say we be in there just <laughs> trying out stuff all the time when we in the studio. Like, we don't just make just hard beat. We do we do a hard Detroit beat. Then right out there we could do some R and B, switch over to the pop sound. Then make one of them little raging beats that they. Mm, we never stuck yeah. on one thing. You know what I'm saying? We always move. Man, hopefully when y'all get in those positions where y'all able to change shit, y'all lift up the younger producers, you feel me? Y'all look yeah. out for the younger people. Because sure. a lot of this shit, like, I ain't going to act like it ain't. It's, we all learning on the fly, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, give me a hundred million dollars right now, you feel me? Ain't no telling where I be in the for world, you know real. what I'm saying? Ain't no telling how my, my mindset will change or my morals will change because of this big-ass amount of money. And Chicago, such a dangerous city, sometimes you got to move how you move yep. in this city, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I say, we was doing interviews, and I learned very young that you had to choose a side or you had to let motherfuckers know you not choosing a side. You yep. got to verbally let motherfuckers know mm -hmm. this shit because a motherfucker going to assume. And that's what Chicago is. Chicago going to assume, and they going to pick that side for you, you know yep. what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> what would y'all say... What would y'all say is like some of y'all goals that y'all got in like the near future? Really me? I'm, right now I'm trying to open up a studio now. Really trying to kickstart this production company. You know what I'm saying I gotta, I'm trying to get some artists on the roster, producers. You know what I'm saying everything gonna be done in house. You know what I'm saying we gonna take over the music industry. <laughs> Just like that. And plaques. <laughs> Plaques. My boy got hella plaques. I'm trying to get like my mans. Is it hard? Is it hard? I would say looking back on those moments, cause like you say, bro, you bro just said you got plaques. So do you ever look back on those moments and be like, man, I did that shit or I accomplished this shit or yeah, I'm one sure. of them niggas shit. For sure, but it's like I humble down like a motherfucker. So it's like. I'm still, I'm still going like like ain't shit happen. You know what I'm saying? I'm going on to the next. I'm trying to get the next plaque. I want something that's going diamond. I ain't trying to go four five times platinum no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to accomplish something bigger. Who are some of the producers y'all want to work with? Uh, TM88 off rip. Hard. That, that's one of my favorite producers. Him, um, Dr. Dre. <laughs> And like South Sides, things like that. The Metro Boom is, you know, yeah, like I, that. Yeah, I'm trying to work with last producers. I probably want to work with probably like South Side, fucking Jake. Fucking, uh, you know, what's his other name? Jake. I forgot his other name. Jake Paul or some shit like that. Jake Paul. Ain't that the he be making, No, no. Nah, nah, he, uh -huh. he be making, uh, Bunch of Jay Z songs and he makes songs for everybody, my nigga on my hood. He be pretty hard though. Uh, it's probably just him and Southside. I probably want to work with. I ain't got to work with a lot of people. I looked up to. How often do y'all like experiment with y'all sounds or try shit or or be like, man, today I want to make a pop beat. Every day, every day. Yeah, I often say we be in there just <laughs> trying out stuff all the time when we in the studio. Like, we don't just make just hard beat. We do we do a hard Detroit beat. Then right out there we could do some R and B, switch over to the pop sound, then make one of them little raging beats that they mm, We never stuck yeah. on one thing. You know what I'm saying? We always move. <laughs> like every day we that's what we do. We making some some other shit. You know what I'm saying? Do y'all think because y'all y'all put y'all selves in positions to to try different things that, that make y'all more real rounded producers? For yeah, sure, for sure, definitely, cause they ain't gonna just hit us up for one sound. Like, like it ain't, it ain't like yeah, we if we need some hard stuff, we just gonna go to old and JT. Like they just gonna hit us up for yeah. beats. Like it don't matter what artist they got. Yeah, you master the craft for every every sound. You dangerous, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> Do that box, do that end up boxing a lot of producers in? Just sticking, because, you know, music is about what's popular nowadays, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So just making, man, I'm going to make this type beat, and I'm going to just put it on YouTube, and then sure. you become that that producer. They be like, man, I'm going to, to this person just for this. Yeah. It, I don't know, because I seen bro start off 
on you uh, on YouTube, and he was doing the tight beats, but he don't just get hit for the people who he was like putting the tight beats on. Like they know he well rounded with it, so it all really depend on the type of producer you are. Really, I was building up a buzz like in the city at the same time while I was doing a YouTube thing. At the same time, I was going crazy on YouTube, build up a buzz in the city. So yeah. Uh. It, it would kind of leave you boxed in, but it depends on how your like what's your sound. Like it depends on if your sound was like a a hit sound or whatever. Like you got producers like Tay Key for, for example. Right. You know what I'm saying? He got his own sound. He gonna keep riding that sound out. And they gonna keep fucking with that shit. You know what I'm saying? They don't come from him and they don't go to him for nothing else but that sound. You know what I'm saying? Nah, fool got some other shit. Yeah, he got other shit that too. Now he wrong. learning to switch it up. You know yeah, what I'm saying? He's switching cold. it up and shit, but. <laughs> they be wanting that sound from him like most of the time and that's what they get I see what you're saying <laughs> how do y'all how do y'all hear music like y'all gotta have a special type of ear to be like man I hear this certain instrument in this beat you know what I'm saying cause yeah. like I used to be a cable man you feel me so it was like I go in somebody's backyard and I instantly start critiquing their cable you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying like damn they bogus as hell for doing <laughs> this to this day I don't I don't know like, I don't know how to explain it. I was like, saying, I was born with it, bro, yeah, to be like, honest. I don't know. It's <laughs> like the thing that I got now, I've always had when I was little. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always could tell, like, uh, I'd be on the radio, like, damn, this song horrible. Like, 808 off key, all type of shit. Like, back in the day, it used to be a lot of off key 808s and shit like that. And <laughs> music and shit, I used to point that shit out all the time. So I think I just always had an ear for music, you know? Man, I, I feel like everybody blessed with, like, a, a special talent. You know what I'm saying? That makes yeah. a superhero in some type of way. Sure. And it's crazy for you to say you always had it and you, you've been aware of it. Like, some people don't even know their talent. You know what I'm saying? Or they push their <laughs> talent off. You know what I'm saying? And then they become adults and they don't be like, man, I'm a, I don't know what the fuck I want to do out here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then you got other people like yourself, bro. You know exactly what the fuck you want to do. For sure. And, and I you mean, did I, it. I still kept, I kept the door open. Like, I kept the door wide open. I had a lot of options. You know what I'm saying? I was fucking around with a bunch of other shit trying to see. But this ended up taking me a while. I needed to go. Shit. All right, before we get out of here, tell everybody how they can get in tune with y'all, stay in tune with y'all, find everything y'all got going on. You follow me, IG, um, Pride by All Day, P-R-O-D by All Day. And I think that's my name on everything. You just follow me on that. I post most of them, mostly on my IG. I don't really use nothing else. Yeah, you can find me on Instagram at JTK2BZ. You can find my YouTube channel with all my content on it, just JTK, you'll find me, and my Twitter, official JTK. Man, it, it's always something different when I in, interview producers, because I got to ask them them questions like, man, do y'all hear beats in color type shit, you know what I'm saying? Because like I say, it, it's, it always amazed me how somebody just wants to be a producer, because that shit ain't normal if you ask me. Like, it's easy for somebody to be like, I want to be a rapper, I want to be a basketball mm -hmm. player, but it's like, bro, you three, fuck you want to be a producer for? Like, <laughs> where did that come from? That's low-key what kind of made me want to be a producer. Like, I'm down, like, I want to be different. Everybody want to be a rapper. I'm gonna make beats for the rappers. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I ain't know no producers until I started producing. That's but, crazy. <laughs> yeah. I ain't know nobody. I ain't know no producers <laughs> but the ones I met online when I was making beats at first, and then I started finding producers out here and shit. You hey, know what I'm man. Keep going, keep scribing, sure. you know what I'm saying? Your hit record coming, bro. Because, sure. like, the weird thing about this music shit, you don't never know when them bitches really mm -hmm. good hit records, especially now with today's sound. And that's why I asked y'all, like, do y'all. Do y'all chase today's sound? I was happy to hear that y'all say y'all just be in the studio creating yeah. all types of shit. Because shit, most people that focus on just the one sound or I'm just going to make rap music, you feel me? They mm -hmm. may be missing a whole lane that they can control as far as R&B, pop. Like, it ain't yeah, no man. telling where you could take this shit. And a lot of people box themselves in. So to hear that y'all, you know what I'm saying, got open minds to just try shit and experiment with sounds that already tell me that y'all different. And y'all yeah. gonna be different, you feel me? So, so salute to both of y'all. So. Just keep grinding. Man, this Chicago, if you can make it in Chicago, you can make it fucking anywhere, man. Exactly. That's true, you feel me? So just keep doing y'all thing. I ain't gotta tell y'all that y'all gonna do that shit anyway, you know what I'm saying? So. But salute to y'all, man.
Definitely appreciate you. Appreciate you for having us. All right, man. It's been another episode of Conversations with Jay.